Hey guys, Twisted Mexi here. This is probably the first time you've heard my voice, and the reason you're hearing it now is to accompany the release of my new mod, Better Exceptions. I just released it a few days ago, and actually had a major update for it just the other day. I'm really excited about it, and can't wait to show you, so let's take a look. As I'm sure you're all aware by now, The Sims 4 doesn't make detecting errors that easy. Sometimes you might play for weeks or months and not even know an error occurred. You might notice something wrong in game, but the moment you notice it might not be the moment something actually went wrong. So, Better Exceptions aims to fix that. It's a mod that I consider beneficial not only for players, but for the generous support groups out there that assist with tracking down these bugs every day. So, let's take a look at how it achieves that. First off, it will tell you in real time when an exception has occurred. My hopes by doing this is that it will make the actual cause more obvious to players. For example, if you had a microwave CC that was somehow corrupting a plate of food, normally you might only see an issue when the sim attempts to eat the food, but with better exceptions, you'd receive an alert as soon as you finish microwaving. But that's not the only advantage better exceptions offers. And if you know Krenrick, she's a huge supporter in the community, helps out with lots of people. If you've been on Answers HQ, you've seen her, she's all over the place helping everybody. So quick shout out to her because this next feature was actually her suggestion. The pop-up will reach out to a database of known game bugs and known mod issues, letting you know exactly what caused the issue. Failing that, it will then attempt to diagnose your issue using the same troubleshooting steps a person might if you reached out to them for help. Currently, the game has a bug where sims can't read excerpts from written books. What players will see is that their sim simply teleports back to a default position and the interaction will cancel, leaving you to kind of guess why that happened. But if we try it with better exceptions installed, we'll receive this pop-up that plainly states the issue and lets us know EA needs to patch it. It also offers a link to the Answers HQ article for more info, if there is one, and if there isn't, it invites you to make one so others can be made aware of the issue as well. Since I understand that constant pop-ups that aren't immediately fixable will get annoying, better exceptions will offer an ignore until next patch option. If you select it, you will not be alerted of that particular issue again until the game has an update. So that's an EA bug, but what about issues caused by mods or CC? Here you can see that better exceptions has detected an exception, and it's letting me know that it's caused by Pufferhead Books mod. As it turns out, that mod requires an update as the version I had had some problems with its tuning files. My next favorite feature is that when it does this, it offers you a link directly to the modder's relevant page so that you can find more info on the exception and possibly get updates with less hassle. Regardless of the cause, the pop-up will always offer two options, a full report and the raw last exception file. The full report includes as much useful information as I could offer to make the community support group's jobs easier. It will automatically include what mods were mentioned in the exception, what script mods were installed, the most recent log information, just anything that will give helpers better insight into the actual cause. I have high hopes that this will help modders stay on top of things as well as let players get back to their gameplay quicker. For example, I just recently had a better exception user inform me that one of my mods was broken on Mac. It was a minor issue, so normally a player might not even notice the issue had occurred, and that bug could have continued to go undetected for who knows how long. But with better exceptions, it was able to walk through the error and find my mod was the most likely cause and alerted the player of the issue. Finally, I know everyone hates keeping mods updated. It's a chore, no one wants to mess with files, they want to play the game. I knew for better exceptions to maximize its utility, it needed to be able to improve without inconveniencing players. That's why it will automatically detect updates and offer to install them for you, all without needing to leave your game session. I have more updates planned, but I don't want to state anything until I've confirmed they're feasible. I hope to have more on that soon. So I put the download link down in the description below where you can grab the latest version. It's entirely free, but if you'd like to support me, I invite you to join me on Patreon, where I always publish my updates and my releases first. This is one of the more exciting mods I've worked on, and I hope everyone enjoys it as much as I've enjoyed developing it. That's all I have for now. Have an awesome day, and take care, guys.